Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is Wednesday morning. I'm on my way to pick up Mike at the hotel. We're going to do breakfast and come back and get cracking with the training. This is the first morning, obviously, with the new 16 to 35 F2.8 G Master, and I am pretty stoked about it. I thought for some reason that it was going to be bigger and much heavier than it actually is. I'm perfectly fine with it. Now, I don't have this at 16 millimeters because th then I get the window blowout. I'm not even exactly sure where it is, but it works for the framing in the, in the vehicle. And this is with active stabilization. I'm going to show you what it looks like at full 16 millimeters. Okay, so there you go. And then you have window blowout here. And now we have the entire interior of the vehicle, not as much window blowout, nothing I can do. Sun's coming up on that side. So that's what it's gonna look like. That's pretty much it. It, it looks fantastic. I'm very excited. I know that this happened to me when I saw the 20 millimeter F1.8, because when you're watching videos, I mean, you're, and you're looking at pictures, you're only seeing a two dimensional depiction of whatever it is that you're looking at. You see these lenses and videos and, and in pictures and ads and all that kind of stuff. And you know, it just looks like it's massive. And when I got the 20 millimeter, when I first saw it, I was at a Best Buy and I just, I just glanced over it because I didn't realize what it was. I thought it was an APS-C lens, you know, amongst all the other ones that it was with. I stopped and I looked and I was like, wait a minute, that's the 20 millimeter 1.8? Why the hell are people complaining that it's big? It's, it's tiny. So I was really surprised about that, and I'm equally surprised about this 16 to 35. And FYI, I do have it set to uh, f2.8, and I have the ND filter on, and it's only at the lowest lowest amount of ND. It's looking good, definitely digging it. I'll have to play with it, uh, like maybe after I take Mike back to the hotel tonight, I'll, I'll take this with me so that I can do a night shot in inside the Forerunner and see how that compares. I mean, I know it's not gonna be able to do as well as the 20 millimeter, but again, how often am I doing stuff at night like that inside my enclosed vehicle? So, all right, enough blathering. Let's go eat breakfast. Okay, kids, I just dropped Mike off at the hotel. We just got done eating dinner. Oh, it's like 20 after six and we're like both beat. It's been another long, busy day, but we got a lot accomplished. He learned a lot. We got a lot of stuff set up for him, and that's fantastic. What's actually happening right now is uh, this freak fog occurrence. By that, I mean there's a shit ton of fog, like a lot of fog, and I can barely see that far in front of me, so it's kind of freaking me out. I can definitely see that I, it looks to me like I'm not entirely in focus, although it is tracking my face and my eyeball at time, but not always my eyeball, but definitely my face. So I'm just kind of wondering, and I, I'm trying not to look at the camera because literally I'm, I'm actually kind of freaked out here about how foggy it is. Right now I'm in a, you know, I'm in an area where there's a lot of stores and stuff, so the lights are on, so I'm a little bit more visible. This is the same route that I took the last time I did the thing at night and, and it wasn't tracking me very well. And that was still with the 20 millimeter 1.8. So now we've got the 16 to 35 F 2.8, but I don't think that this is gonna look very good. Unfortunately, I won't be doing this all the time, like filming when it's dark like this. And if I am, we're all just gonna have to get used to it because there's nothing that I can do about it. Yeah, another quick video. I just wanted to test this out and see how it looked at, at night and it looks pretty much as shitty as I thought it was going to, and that's kind of the way it goes. I mean, I guess if I know that I'm going to be filming at night in my vehicle, I'll have to bring out the 20 millimeter F1.8. I mean, that has its advantages and disadvantages as does anything else. So we'll see what happens. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, oh, the darkest part, forward and up.